1971 when Indian Space Research Organization launched its first sounding rocket from Sri Harikota. Sri Harikota, the Satish Dhawan Space Center, which has now become the primary space port for Indian Space Research Organization. And today we are here to attend the 102nd launch from Sri Harikota. And what a way to celebrate that milestone. Today marks the launch of NASA, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, the most extensive Earth observation satellite to be launched ever. Now, it marks a successful collaboration between the scientists from both the countries, India and the US, who have been working hard on this mission for almost a decade. Now, this mission is going to be launched about GSLV, and as you can see, these demos of rockets behind me. Now, GSLV is India's heaviest launcher. This 51 meter tall rocket is going to lift off NISA, the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. Now, this is based on a SAR technology, but what makes it unique is that it's a dual frequency radar with an L band and an S band radar. Now, the L band radar was constructed by scientists from JPL NASA, while the S band was brought to realization by scientists from ISRO. Overall, the budget is $1.5 billion between both ISRO and NASA. Now, ISRO is providing the launch facilities, providing the rocket as well as the liftoff facilities. Now, once this rocket lifts off from Sri Harikota at 5.40 p.m. Indian Standard Time, it's going to take about 18 minutes for the satellite to separate from the rocket and be inserted into a orbit of about 745 kilometers. Now, this is the first time that the GSLV is launching a satellite which will be placed into the sun synchronous orbit. Now, what is that orbit? Basically, now, the satellite would cover the, uh, the regions on the Earth precisely at the same time every day. Now, what makes the SAR technology very uh, distinct and very important is that it allows the scientists to get a high-resolution imagery of the Earth without the distinction of any challenges that the weather may pose. So the imagery will also be available despite the dense cloud cover. Now, NISAR is going to be very, very beneficial for scientists across uh, the world, especially researchers working on cloud climate change. Now, as we all know that the world has really heated up, the climate change is intensifying natural hazards, different kind of natural hazards and all this data from NISA is will really significantly help these scientists to understand how the land and the oceans are changing over the last few years. Now the satellite is going to generate data every 12 days and with the radar technology we'll get all this data down to the resolution of about 2 to 30 uh, meters. Now at one point in time the entire swath that is going to cover is 240 kilometers which is a very huge area but like I said the resolution is really intense and all this amount of data will be made freely available to researchers worldwide after suitable process processing by ISRO as well as NASA. Now here in Sri Harikota scientists who have been working hard on this mission have really come uh, from different parts of the country to witness this very important launch and we are here in Sri Harikota marking this important milestone and bringing you all the live updates. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing. 